Hello everybody, welcome to Brain Snow Bomb 2. Second year in the road doing this. So today I'm going to be talking about the song Baby It's Cold Outside. A song that has, in recent years, has become of immense discussion about how it basically promotes rape culture. No, it does not. <laughs> Songs are one of the things that can either age really well or really badly, right? Um, look at back in the, you know, olden days when they were saying the N-word every three seconds because that's just a normal thing to say back then. And now stuff like that is getting cancelled. And it's one of those things of, well, you have to look at the time period that it was made in. Right? You can't just go cancelling everything. But, and even with a song like Baby It's Cold Outside, you have to look at the, um, context of it. So, yeah, you could say, oh, at face value the song is, oh, this woman is trying to leave, but this man won't let her leave. Making excuses of why she shouldn't leave. No. No. <laughs> when you really look at it, um, he's only saying it's cold outside, and he's, yeah, making, not excuses, but just straighting s facts. I'm not trying, this isn't me s supporting a rapist, because I'm about to prove y'all why it's not a, a rape thing. How, you also have to look at how you need to look at the song. How I see it as the woman wants to stay, but she knows deep down that she, like, shouldn't because she'll get in trouble about it. Not because she knows she's going to be raped. With, throughout the song, she only says no once, but then we're gonna about to go into the lyrics. Because it's, how I see it is it's playful, it's playful, right? She's going along with this act of, oh, it's a super naughty thing to do, let me do it. So, I really can't stay, baby's cold aside, I gotta go away, baby's cold aside. Seeing has been, uh, been hoping that you drop by, so very nice. She's talking about how good the night has been, and he's like, oh, hold your hands to ice. And this is, then this verse, my mother will start to worry, my father will be placing the floor. Um, so I really scurry, maybe just a half a drink more. She's the one who says that. She, she says, oh, you, you know, she's trying to give herself excuses out loud of why she shouldn't be here. You know, my mom's going to worry, my dad's going to worry, but you know, maybe, maybe just, maybe just a little more drink, you know. That's her saying that. So why people are like, oh he's he's gonna rape her it's like okay no no she's the one who's also see and it's that line especially maybe just have a drink maybe just have a drink more you could see that as oh she's is falling under it she's she's gonna she's gonna get raped it's like no no i think it's a playful banter kind of thing i mean she knows she'll get in trouble for doing this you know the neighbors might think um say what's in this drink a lot of people are like oh he's drugging the drink he's drugging the drink i also see that as a playful thing of hey wait you know she's joking about him drugging the drink what'd you put in this drink to make me stay here right because i'm liking it i want more Th you know um there won't be any cabs outside and this is the part where he just said kind of sweet her oh you look nice you're very beautiful let me take your hat um she says i ought to say no 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 sir um she said, see, that's in it's another line like that, like, I ought to say no. Like, I know what I should be saying, but I'm not saying it, you know? I'm going to leave. I'm very tired. At least I'm going to say that I tried. I don't know why I said tired. Um, once the center hurting my pride. See, and she's like, well, at least I tried. And you could read it the other way, but I think that's just how the song is meant to be read. A very playful, romantic song. I think that's the point they're going for here is playfully romantic, you know? I could say I tried to leave, you know? Assembly must go. This is where she says, Assembly must go. Baby's called aside. The answer is no, but but baby's called aside. Um, the welcome has been. Have you dropped in? So nice and warm. This is also where she's going back. It's like, well, you know, it is nice and warm in here. The welcoming was nice, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my sister will get suspicious. Gosh, your lips look delicious. Um, my father will be there at the door. Uh, Aunt's mind vicious. This is where she once again goes back to the family and is just like, oh, they're going to be mad at me. They're going to be upset. I never such a blizzard before. And she goes, well, maybe just a cigarette more. See, once again, maybe just a cigarette more. It's her going, well, maybe just, you know, maybe, maybe just another cigarette, you know? This isn't. Mm -mm. At the end. Uh, okay, fine. Just another drink then. You know, at the end. She's just like, okay, screw it. Whatever. See, because like. Throughout the song, he doesn't, like, yeah, he takes off her hat and her coat and stuff, but he doesn't, like, 
Um, baby, it's cold outside. You're grabbing my hand hard, baby, it's cold outside. It's like, no, 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 that doesn't happen. <laughs> well, you're really hurting me tightly. Shut up and quit fighting. It's like, no, that doesn't happen. That does I should do a parody song of this. Maybe next year, maybe next year. Um, <laughs> but like, I don't know. It's just, I wanted to sit through it down, go through some of the lyrics. Um, you can look up the lyrics yourself. And yes, it all depends on how you read it. So of course, at face value, um, gosh, your lips look delicious, you know. Uh, I'm swooning you up. I'm making you feel good about yourself. Let's, I'm gonna rape you. It's like, no, no, YouTube, don't take this video down because I talk about rape. <laughs> but, like, I just, I see it as, like I said, it's a, uh, supposed to be a duet, right? And in the duet, you even, there's different kinds of duets. I'm not a music guy, especially not a musical theater guy. All I know is musicality. But, um, how duets can work is that you have two people making a ballad, like two people singing basically their own song that happens to collide with the other one, so like mesh well. And then you have, I guess you could call it a leading duet, I'm sure there's an actual name for it. But where one person's singing and then one person's more of like, kind of like a backup dancer, but for singing. And that's how this song is. She's the one leading the song, right? And he's just, um, the, just the backup. Like, his lyrics come, after hers, you're not supposed to really know his lyrics, you just don't know the main lyrics of that. Is that proof to why it's not about rape? Yeah, kind of, I'm just trying to explain that, like, it's her song, she's singing about how, like I said, it's a, it's a duet between a male and a female about romance. I think it's supposed to be a romantic duet of, she wants to say, she wants to, but she knows she'll get in trouble if she does with her family. And it's like, well, you know, at least I, I can, I can at least say I tried. She doesn't say, well, I'm trying, you know, like, I'm trying to leave. She could say, at least I can say. She, that's, I think that line, especially just like, she's, she's down to do the dirty, you know? I don't know. I just think, I, I want to say I think it's stupid that people think it's about rape. Um, but I do see where they're coming from. This is one of the only, like, SJW things that I'm like, yeah, I, I get it, but let's actually read into it. That's why I'm actually making a video about it rather than just ranting. Y'all can all look up the lyrics yourselves. I didn't. I was literally reading the lyrics as I went. So that was the Christmas special. Uh, better than last year's. Last year's was was barely even over a minute. <laughs> I was just like Christmas, <laughs> Christmas. This year I actually wanted to talk about something. Everybody have a merry Christmas, uh, happy holidays. Kwanzaa I think already happened. I think isn't Kwanzaa in January? I don't know. You have suggest suggestions for other Christmas topics I need to talk about? I'm thinking, I was going to do a tier list this year, but then I was like, oof, I'm running out of time. It's already Wednesday. Uh, so now I just decided to do this. So, see you guys next time. Uh, I think my next video is either going to be the Christmas unboxing or the Sonic Adventure 2 Part 1. So, stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you want to. Video over. Merry Christmas. It's only eight minutes? Oh my god.